Good evening, Frenzy and Dad. We're here at the Barrymore Theater for the world premiere of Main Street Meets, and we found Morgan Ray. Morgan, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, I'm awesome. I'm even more awesome now. I get to meet you here in person. You're one of the one of the actors in the movie today, correct? I. That is correct. I am. What, what's your character? My character's name is Cherry, and uh, the box office person informed me that I was first on the on the list. I was like, wow, I feel. I would certainly hope so. <laughs> Um, I'm not so, used to being the first one on the list. <laughs> so what was it like working on this film? Oh man, well we were doing filming for about four years and then about two years of ADR after that. So it was a good six years of almost every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow, that's got to that's gotta be hard to juggle because you're, you're the singer in a couple different bands. Yep. I know Devil to Drag for sure that we've had on Bordello of Horror. Yep, and actually uh, Devil to Drag has a song in this movie, The Fever, actually. Awesome. That's that's so great that music and horror and movies, they all get to cross over. And this is Stacy Pepper. Oh, Stacy, Stacy Pepper. How are you doing? Morgan. Hello, are you getting this on camera? This is awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Uh, Stacy. <laughs> Cece, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderfully. I'm here with my very good friend Morgan, whom I met on the set of Main Street Meets. We actually met before either one of us was in a band yeah. or did other things. And yeah, she helped me break up with a shitty boyfriend. <laughs> yep, I gave her some good, good uh, old lady advice, you know, like... Old lady mm, math. Nope, you gotta dump that guy. And she did. And now look at her. I did. <laughs> so, Stacy, I was just talking about uh, what was it like to work on the movie. What's your character? My character is Sis. I, I think she's the most diabolical character in the movie. Absolutely. Maybe maybe with the younger brother thrown in there as like... Yeah, a, he just did my bidding. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably, actually. I cannot wait for that fight scene, by the way. I know, I know. Yeah, we had, we had well, not to give away too much, but we had a fight scene that was professionally choreographed. Mm -hmm. by Christopher Elst, um, yep. and it was great. Morgan had had a lot of experience with fight scenes, and I had none, and so I was terrified the entire time that it was actually going to hurt. So, experience with fight scenes, is that from having a boyfriend? No, no, <laughs> no, he uh, wasn't that fierce. Um, good thing. But, uh, no, I was in a Bob Love film uh, before that, but um, actually, you were at a disadvantage because you had a um, fair amount of prosthetics on your face um, that hindered your vision. So, um, yeah, without giving away too much, uh, I think you were at a disadvantage, but one of the things I love about this film is the production crew, every single location, hair and makeup, the whole team, like everything looks so professional. I can't wait to see how it all comes together. I, I, obviously, you're excited for the world premiere here at the Barrymore Theater. What do you think people are going to take away from this film? Sweetie. We're total badasses. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a feel-good movie, right? Um, for some people. That didn't get killed. Uh, well, again, without any, without any spoilers being thrown in, I mean, I think it's a great homage to like the 1960s, 70s horror uh, genre. They're uh, kind of on the same lines of the plotline of Sweeney Todd, but with like a modern modern twist and just there's like also so much clever humor in it. I mean, it's very tongue in cheek. It's not just. I can't wait to yeah. see if the volleyball scene gets in there. Oh, it does. The topless volleyball scene. There's a topless volleyball scene. Is, is if, you it, like, is, if you like boobies, you'll is like it, it as good as the one in uh, Top Gun? I haven't seen it. I have. I mean, I've seen Top Gun, but I haven't seen the topless volleyball scene yet. <laughs> All so right. Well, I've been, I've been waiting to see if that one's going to make the it's cut. Better right? than the juggies, folks. Better than the juggies. All right. Well, this is obviously something to look forward to. Uh, we got to get inside and, and yeah, get set up for this thing. I mean, the line in there is just incredible and on the blood red carpet. You know? Yeah, that's the Barrymore for you. <laughs> yeah, I want to thank you ladies for joining us in the Bordello of Horror and uh, good you. luck with the screening. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Glad you're here.